Good morning. Good morning. It's a beautiful morning. Oh, the sun is shining through. I say, go. It's a beautiful morning. Yeah. It's a beautiful day. Naturally, and I mix good morning to you. Good morning to each and every one. It's a great day to be alive. A good day. Good morning, Sidine. Good morning, Karen. Good morning, folks. From wherever you are logging on from. Let us know where you're logging on from. Good morning, Danique. Good morning to you. It's a good day. It's a good day. Um, Shauna James, good morning. Shauna, I like how Shauna James, last name I say Shauna James. Sukra. Good morning. Karen from Maryland, good morning to you. It's been a long time since I've been in Maryland. Um, good morning, Monique Williams from Baltimore. Be more in the house. Be more is in the house. Maryland in the house. Hey, baby, baby, come on, baby, baby, come on. <laughs> Tasha, good morning from West Palm Beach in Florida. West Palm is in the house. New Jersey in the house. Hey, baby. You know, West Palm and New Jersey I'm have no connection. Yeah, I did wash it. I did wash it. I washed it already. Yep. So, guys, if you have not yet done so, hit our shop now button and get yourself a Yada Belly t shirt. Very good price. And let me show you the wifey in her Yada Belly t shirt. Wifey, wifey, Yada Belly t shirt. Turn your hand and make fashion. All right, from the Boogie Down Bronx, Sidain. Oh, the back it says Yadi Lifestyle. Uh huh. This much. Um, Bronx in the house. Hey, Bronx is in the house. Hey. Brooklyn's in the house. Hey. Hey, in the house. Francois, good morning to you. And today we, you know, first, before I even go into my video, this morning I had the occasion to go into the shopping mall area in my local neighborhood and I just I just felt like I wanted a, a fritters you know so I said my stop I wanted a Jamaican restaurant to get a fritters and guys I was I was so embarrassed when you look at the the breakfast menu <laughs> you're talking about every single item was including saltfish everything aki and saltfish kalalo and saltfish baked bean and saltfish butter bean and saltfish what else with saltfish see hmm? okra and saltfish i mean everything carry good morning cabbage to you Cab no they never have a cabbage but i mean it was just everything on saltfish and i was like are you kidding me it's so unfortunate that we have relegated our palates to include saltfish in everything <laughs> And guess what we make for breakfast live this morning? <laughs> Kalaloo. Kalaloo and selfish. <laughs> but I was like, when when I, when 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 last have we seen, you know, like a liver, like a kidney, mackerel rundown, you know? Steam fish. Ste for breakfast. I don't know nobody eat steam fish for breakfast. Anybody on on, on the prayer kid, good morning to you, sir. Anybody you do steam, like fish? Mine, you eat steam fish? Steam fish for breakfast? No, sir. <laughs> so this morning we're about to cook up ourselves some callaloo. And for those who don't know, um, we're gonna show you what callaloo is. Callaloo is our Jamaican version of American spinach. And <laughs> You know the this the callaloo is dark leafy green vegetable. Carry carry move about about steam fit. Your prayer kid with too rich uh, bully beef and bread. <laughs> you know how expensive bully beef is <laughs> in Florida. Mm. Three dollar. <laughs> no, when it's on sale, it's three dollar. Oh, it's sad. So Jamaicans love us some callaloo. All right. Heather, please, Heather. Heather, Heather, you lie and wicked eat Heather, but you love some steam fish for breakfast. Why not back in her? I know not always a back in her, and I need to stop. Yeah, Guys, that. go ahead and give us a thumbs up before we get into the chat. And for those who do not know how to do the thumbs up, this is 
tutorial time yay <laughs> so this is my phone right right this is the page right i'm on right so right here oh hold on let me go back yeah so you guys are in the chat chatting up a storm and stuff yeah and then what you have to do is it's not showing it is showing showing you're too close what you have to do is close out the chat for a second right here the x button right there and then you go over here and you do your thumbs up over here so <laughs> and then once you're done with that you just go right back ahead and you hit the start chat button again live chat button again right there and you're back in business you're back on the chat so go ahead and give us a and guys we want to say thank you so much for those persons who just recently subscribed you know we always loving on our on our regular subscribers or but we're new subbies we want to thank you guys so much with your subscription and continual patronage we have gone to just under 30,000 subscribers um, and it's awesome it's really awesome trust me here that's a show some aki in it <laughs> read the chat then read it, the comments then babe give me, um, give me sorts of comments oh heather said throw some aki in them <laughs> you know it's selfish i guess <laughs> and patricia says steam fish and colored off for breakfast no bread please <laughs> easy on the floor for me <laughs> right can you imagine just a half place of colorlo and then a whole steam fish yes set you know so on a wicked oh no very wicked right now because yeah, i want steam fish never yeah. steam fish in the fridge where season up to you know it's steam it's not steam yet it's seasoned but you don't need nothing for steam it just put it on top of the color look. oh and um uh, here they're saying some scotch some scotch i hope you mean scotch bonnet pepper and not scotch, <laughs> scotch in the early whiskey. morning for breakfast i think me agree with Heather. Right? some scotch whiskey <laughs> 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 i would love some scotchy all right see you're gonna be the camera person so you have to know when and how to to mm -hmm. use uh, like utilize your camera skills so did you show one. them how to strip it like i know it's already stripped me, me, me never, me never but, show them the camera right on whistle but you can go ahead also and still see usually no matter how you strip it there's always some stuff left. yeah mega mega strip it mega show them how to strip it but for now i'm i'm just doing the cutting so we we chose to cut the color loo on on our live um this morning just to show you guys what we do you know and and so you want to basically you want to basically just take your 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 knife get yourself a good sharp knife mm -hmm. and and work your color loop. bundle it up bunch it up or bundle it up and you just want to work your color loop. There's a method. Just and you keep the front of the knife on the board at all times, and then so that you don't cut yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, and then you do a, a rhythmic motion, like you know. Guys, this is priceless. Knife skills 101. <laughs> priceless. <laughs> yeah. So there you have the first bundles being chopped and that's how it looks nice and green all right let me show you guys so the color loo once the color loo comes in 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 stalks right it mm -hmm. grows in stalks mm -hmm. and you pretty much just want to take your knife and go in at the at the edge you see yeah you want to go in at the edge where you see that brownish type of reddish um membrane and you want to mm -hmm. pull on it yes and if you do that well enough all around you will end up removing this tough outer um, focus, focus camera. You remove this uh, tough outer skin um, from your color loo. Now that's a time consuming task, but Jamaicans, um, we have gone to that level where we do not. Where's the skin again? We do not consume color loo without first 
um, going through the stripping process, you know. Not to be confused with other strippers. And my wife is a very good stripper. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hey. You know, so if you are not a good stripper, let me know. All those who are not good strippers in the chat room, prayer kid, you know it. <laughs> All those who are not good strippers, please Ladies, indicate. you have to know how to strip your <laughs> hallelujah, that is. Your hallelujah. <laughs> hallelujah. <laughs> Working at Martini Bar, BWI. <laughs> Learning to cook with passion. Thank you. Prayers of money. Good. That's awesome. Debbie L, good morning to you too. Debbie L, good morning. I hope you are a good stripper, as I was explaining. Where, where are you? Is everybody on the live from Jamaica? Does everybody know Callaloo? Have you cooked Callaloo before? And if you are not from Jamaica and you have had um, 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 colored greens, Jamaican callaloo is a not like collard greens. It does not taste the same. It doesn't take the it, length of it time It doesn't to take cook. the same amount of time mm -hmm. to cook. And it is absolutely divine. It can be sauteed quickly. As I said, these are little air, little strands that you will, you will see on your callaloo that you will have to be a little bit aware of. You have to discern. All yeah. right, so we have some people checking in. Elaine Parker, New York's in the house. Hey, hey. Brooklyn's in the house. Hey. hey, and we have Lakewood, California. California, California is in, in the, the house. house. Hey. Alicia, come on, in hey. the house. Hey, all right, Sharon, where is a good morning? Yardy from a long time, not chatting you with you guys. Bless good morning, you. Sharon. Good morning, and Sharon is a good stripper. I'm, I'm reading. Oh, sorry. I never miss none of your vlogs. Wifey is a stripper. Never knows. <laughs> News to me. <laughs> now you know. And no Make sure you know color lawyer you strip boy. <laughs> <laughs> you better know. <laughs> I'm American. My husband is Jamaican. Okay, so I'm pretty sure Elaine, he must have hooked you up on some good has, old I think he team. has taught her how to strip. Yes, 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 yes. Your I husband has taught you. That's a good husband. Teach a female how to strip. Yes. Even weird. Elaine, you love the channel. Thank you, girl. <laughs> Thanks for the support. We appreciate I've been stripping it. for a long time now. You know, and so I'm a pro at stripping. But stripping is essential if you are if you want to cook a good callaloo. Otherwise, whenever when it comes to eating, you know, you will have pieces of membrane in your mouth and you don't want that you want to eat clean <laughs> yeah, <get burned. laughs> i'm talking about color you why, why what else you talking about i hate when i buy the color loaf over here at a particular place color loaf nice you know the color loaf oh, is nice but when let you them know let, it, hold on hold on babes you have to let hmm? people know what color loaf is oh yeah color <laughs> loaf is actually um like a loaf of like a Jamaican bread like a Jamaican version of an empanada stuffed with callaloo. Not really. Yes, it is. It's a Jamaican version of a empanada shape, but it's not. It's not like um that kind of flaky crust. It's it's actually. It's dough. not like a patty. It's like bread, literal bread, folded with callaloo in the middle, and they do that with ackee. They do that with meat. They do that with any Shrimp, kind of filling. Yeah. Lobster. So I always have to get the color low, but when you're eating it, sometimes you can literally feel the strips of, of on the color low because they don't take the time to strip it before they cook it. And I guess that's because you're doing it um, on bulk, at a bulk level. Right, right. right. So and just generally, they only take the time to strip it properly and it's annoying in the mouth. And I have a problem with, with, with a lot of the, the, the Caribbean restaurants. And I'm not saying Jamaican alone because there's a lot of Caribbean restaurants you know different countries but they have a, a, one thing generally that i find is a general lackadaisical um attitude to towards cooking no no that's for every restaurant because we have been to some places like you know oh. not every restaurant but you know what i mean um and so one of the things that we have to learn how to do is to actually learn how to cook at home and maximize that potential because you know what i'm tired of going out and getting this dissatis dissatisfied service I don't think I should be paying extra a bulk of money because you know Caribbean food expensive 
and not getting the service and the, 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 the quality that I am demanding. You know, so that's why I, I really am I'm, I'm a pro cook at home type of person. All right, we have some checking in. Okay, Are you go checking ahead. In? Are you checking in? All right, so we have checking in on the live. Errol Collins from Nottingham, UK. London's in the house. UK is in the house. Hey, Britain is in the house. Come on. And Patricia seemed to be logging in from Trinidad. So, Trinidad in, in the, the house. Uh, hey, we have a calypso rise Hey, Guys, if you ever see she in your dance. <laughs> Patricia say in Trinidad, we call it what you have there, spinach. What we call callalo here grows from dashin roots. Yeah, the dashin bush. And we have to strip it as well, but I am not a good stripper. <laughs> 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 Willie. <laughs> Oh my god. Hey, Ollie from Denver. Denver's in, in the, the house. house. Hey, Colorado is in, in the, the house. house. Hey. <laughs> oh my god. This is AF in OST and your capital for that song here. For the shout out. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> membrane in the mouth is not good. <laughs> <laughs> yes, no brain, no membrane in the mouth. Thank I, you. I, I don't like this process, but it's a necessity. <laughs> for real, Shauna. Mm -hmm. Sending enough love and blessings from Canada. Canada is in the house. Ontario is in the house. Or Toronto is in the house. Depends on where you live. In the house. Mississauga is in the house. <laughs> All right. Rosemary Thumb. You guys buy Patty from Taste Right in Pembroke Pines. We buy from Taste Right, but we have one like literally walking distance. From yeah, our house. Taste Right. There's the Taste Right Two, close actually. to us. But yeah, how we, alone, bless we have we have the flagship um taste right store in our vicinity, mm -hmm. so we get we get it fresh in fresh in the mornings. And taste right is a beautiful restaurant with in terms of their quality and stuff. But them kalalu, yeah, them have a they have a problem with the kalalu party and the stripping. I guess it's a general thing, yeah, man. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna do a party a party comparison video soon, mm -hmm. you know, and see which is the best party com um restaurant in. The best patty maker in South Florida, mm -hmm. in our opinion, yeah. Mister Pinko say yes. Nowadays, home cooking a much better idea. Huh. Trust me. Don't even talk about it. And Every you see, day. like special holidays coming up, Mother's Day and and and, and different holidays. Try not carry your mama go and none of them restaurant. Me I tell you, mm -hmm. you get some bolo slush there. Well, for those who don't know what I'm talking about. I'm, I'm just simply saying the quality of the product is um, off when it's um, a holiday um, period, you know. Karen says she loves our energy. And we have another check-in. Guess where the check-in is from, guys? Finland! Finland's, Finland's in, in the, the house. house. I'm going to remember the capital of Finland. Let us know what the capital of Finland Because we need to put it in the house. Oh my God. Akina the voice. Good morning, good morning, good morning. My youth, I normally say I'm around the corner, but this time I'm in Wellington. Wellington's, Wellington's in, in the, the house. He's in the house. That's a Florida. That's not a Florida. So. Oh At least it's not sick in town. You understand? You get it? Mm -hmm. Wellington, Australia that. here, pain in the membrane. <laughs> Austin, Texas, in the house. Hey. Hey, you're in the house. Big up on yourself. Big up Texas. Mr. Pinkle, are you saying you're living in Australia? I think he's saying. In any event. Australia's, Australia's in, in the, the house. house. And hey. Sydney is in, in the, the house. house. Hey. Sydney, Australia. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You yeah. see, we we we're not we're not we're not too far far gone, you know. If you're near, if you're in Australia, you're near to Sydney, so. No need for fridges in Finland, is there? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they have no need for fridges. For real though. And Speedy so, Watt seventy one, Colorado's in the house. Good morning hey, to you in, in Colorado. Colorado. Denver. Oh yeah, Denver, Colorado. Uh, we have mm -hmm. quite a few people from from Colorado mm -hmm, logging in mm -hmm, this morning. Mm -hmm. Big up yourself, Denver people. Colorado people. The highest, one of the, I think it's the highest state in the United States, eh? Oh. Denver, Colorado. Mm -hmm. All right, so we have officially done cutting up our Kalaloo. And you want to, you want to show them while I just wash this real quick. Mm -hmm. 
Oh. The washing? No, just I, I washed we washed already. Oh, 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 oh. I'm just cleaning the cutting board. Oh, okay. So So you're gonna chop up the um the cheese thing? Yeah. So our Jamaican callaloo is usually done with some simple Sorry. seasonings. Simple seasonings, all right. Here we have some scallions or green onions, and what I normally do is in the mornings we try to minimize the amount of turn down, turn down my volume. Yeah, you make it hearing like a notification. I can't bother. Make it okay. South Africa is in the house. Hey. Hey. <laughs> in the house. Good morning to my South African friends and families mm -hmm. and we as i said see make sure, please check on and make sure the camera is on the slot where it's supposed to be and all of that thank you darling and so we're just cutting up our seasonings um yeah, it is, it is, it you know as i said the callaloo is a quick saute and we know that many other nationalities many other countries use callaloo but they might use it um in a different way and and by a different name um and so for Jamaicans, however, callaloo is a staple. It's one of the ways in which we get that dark leafy green vegetables into our diet. And many, 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 many doctors in Jamaica will recommend this to ladies, especially, you know, because you know you need that iron. Um, and so ladies, callaloo is just a, a, a known staple. Sometimes what happens is they will have the callaloo as a side dish and they will have something else like this morning the statement was made about steam fish you know something else can be the accompaniment to the callaloo or the callaloo can be the main dish as in such in the case this morning mm -hmm. now when we do salt fish with our callaloo we're just adding the salt fish for flavor it's not really to say we're adding a, a mountain load of salt fish it's, it's not the star of the show Exactly. The color is the star of the show. And our salt fish, for those who are from, you know, maybe Africa, for those who have not know, who don't know what we're talking about, when we when we mention salt fish, it's salted cod, which has become one of our national dish, part of our national dish, uh, aki and salt fish, but it is salted cure salt cure cod fish, and in recent times we have had to be dealing with you know a lesser quality fish which is the pollock and we have been having to deal with fish from places like China but originally our fish salted cod came from Canada and we don't even know what this is to be honest with you because some people say snake you know because it it curl like, like you know but again oh, I don't think that's the shape of a snake yeah it might be snake it, it might be the snake fish it might be yeah we don't know what this is but this is from China um, it yeah, prayer changes things. So if it's snake, it will change to fish when you pray. All right, checking in right here. Rose Marie Tom says I cook Jamaican food for myself. If I buy it from Donuts or wherever, I'm gonna throw it in the garbage. So I might as well cook it myself. Amen. For real, Hartford, Connecticut. Hartford in, in the, the house. house. Connecticut in the house. Hey. 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 Rich it's people live in Hartford. Rich people live in Hartford. <laughs> She said, and it's Sharon Weir. She said, keep vlogging. Love you guys. You guys are very informative. Love your channel. Thank you. Speedy Watts says it's the best greens out there. I agree. Agree. Support that. I support that. Philippines in the house. Hey. hey in the house. Hey. What does Philippine people eat again? Um. Have you ever had balut, Gloria? <laughs> let, let us know if you've ever had if you're brave enough to eat that thing called <laughs> balut, it's crazy to me. <laughs> the sawfish is my second meat. You can't make that be a second meat, Olivia. It is not that good. It's to not me. that good, yeah. Mm -mm. It has no nutrients in it. You know, we're not recommending that people take up a diet of sawfish. Right. You know, when sodium. we just moved to America, we used to live with somebody and then we give a sawfish every day. Till Jesus, week. peace. We eat sawfish, we eat sawfish, we eat sawfish every which are we. Sawfish in the morning, sawfish in the <laughs> evening, sawfish at supper time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're pretty much there. Let me go get the rest of stuff started. 
And the more fresh seasons you put in your calendar, the more flavorful it is. You don't have to be a whole bunch of powdered seasonings. You just need to get the, that, that foundation flavor. And then you add a little bit of, you know, a little salt something and a little pepper something and you're good to go. Yeah, a little something something. Yeah, something and all those things. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have one, you have that like mackerel. And, uh, <laughs> and all these things. All these things. <laughs> Would it come out? Yes, yes, yes. And guys, the preparation is the, you know, pretty much the, 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 the big ideal. The long, it takes the longest, the prep. But once you prep, once you strip and cut up your color and the seasonings, the cooking is literally five minutes. And she does. She don't really mean like you strip naked for cut out the color loop. Oh, really? no! Can you say once you strip? So you, know, <laughs> you have to put on. Keep on your clothes. Keep on your clothes. Let me just say that. That's a disclaimer. <laughs> yes, guys. So. All right. See. Um. Let me see if I can. Um. We are going to move over. To invite you over to my station i got an invitation to come over so let me come over but first let me show you what we're gonna have it with stop and stop and go again all right okay so what we have this morning is grain along with some dumpling mm -hmm. yeah and the Darling. The dumpling is just half flour and half cornmeal. That's it. I live on the five flow. A joke. <laughs> yeah, that's it for the dumplings. And then we have some dry. It looks dry. I hope it's dry. I'm not a yellow yam fan, but when, when it's dry and not chewy and not bitter, I'm game. So those look fine. Those yellow yam. We have green bananas. Okay, quickly. We just use up the remainder of our coconut oil, pressed organic coconut oil. Mm -hmm. And for if you want your color to have good flavor, the coconut oil is the best. You can you can put the, the come on. And so what you wanna do is you wanna add your um, onions and your garlic. And I usually add the green parts of the scallion um, in this at this time as the well. The white part. The white part, sorry. Mm -hmm. You know. And you just want that get to a quick saute. Mm -hmm. Guys, sorry for the break in transmission. We're having a little connectivity issue. But don't go nowhere. Stick and stay. We are still here. Right. All right. Do not leave before the plating. Okay. So we're we're do ha we're having a little bit of, of issue with our, our connection. But please don't go. We're trying to get this done as quickly as possible. And so the next thing I'm gonna add is um, the salted cod or pollock and. We're just going to stir that in. Break it up a little bit? Yeah. Naturally break it up. And then I have some, some thyme here. Or thyme. And I normally just use my hand to... You know, once you turn the thyme this way, you pull back on it and all of the, the, the little leaf leaflets um, will fall off. And you can just add that so that you don't end up with the time stick. Now, a lot of people leave the, th the time in there. And that's okay too. You can, um, there's no hard and fast rules about what you do with your, with your. Um, what do you mean I leave the time in there? Leave this, the entire stick. Oh, oh, they just use, use it whole. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now I have some tomato here and these are baby tomatoes. I'm just qu quartering them. And adding them and this uh, medley of tomatoes so it's different um, what do you call it different kinds of tomatoes mm -hmm. and again not everybody use tomato in their callaloos but we're tomato people right so I'm just adding these 
<laughs> and you just. I'm not moving. I'm not moving one place. <laughs> <laughs> and you just want to you want to saute this, you know, as as quickly as possible. I when I'm doing kalalu, I like everything to be somewhat crunchy. I don't like it to be cooked all the way out. So I usually don't um over cook my my saltish. Then you want to add some country pepper and guys this is what I do. I keep my, my Jamaican peppers um, in the freezer um, so that one they don't go bad that quickly and two it also tones down the level of capsaicin that's in it so it, it's a little bit sorry to make the pepper drop it's a little bit less hot and this is scotch bonnet pepper guys the wife they don't like it too much so I don't use it uh, that often because I'm catering to her as well but in this case it got the hat. I don't mind a, yeah, I don't mind a hint of pepper in my callaloo at all. Patricia said we have nowhere in Trinidad to buy authentic Jamaican food. Please, please, you guys need to come across here and open an authentic Jamaican restaurant in South Trinidad though. Okay. Alright, so now that we're at this point, you know, we can um you know make sure you, you, you break up your your um make make sure you break up your salt fish a little bit more. Mm -hmm. You know, just make sure it's it's nice so that it can um, easily spread all over the, the pot. So it's straight. Everybody gets it. Yeah, good. everybody can get a little bite of, of saltfish. As I said, the saltfish is not the, sh the, the star of the show. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. All right. And this is where the show gets interesting, guys. What is this, baby? Karen said, this is my first time here. Really enjoying watching you cook live. Thank you, Karen. Now you're just adding your, your um, I'm sorry, thank you, Karen. <laughs> procedure, man, so procedure. <laughs> wow, I smell the pepper. The pepper smells so good. <laughs> so now you just want to add your callaloo, yeah? Yes. And you add as much as you, you can or want, because I'm not going to do all of this, right, babe? Add everything. You no, want? leave some. Okay, we can make callaloo rice. Oh, my God. Yeah. With coconut milk? Yeah. yeah. That's so good. I'm want it now. All right, so we're just adding this amount of color loop and mm -hmm. and this is where it gets a little bit more interesting. Gloria, you say getting ready to cook this right now. Thank you for giving me an idea what to cook today. Like. And then you just want, sorry, you just want to add your scallion again mm -hmm. and some seasoning agent now. All right. So for the seasoning agent, you can use a bit of garlic powder. If we have, I'm coming. I'm coming. I got it. I got it. You got it? Yeah, okay. I think I do. There's a little bit. We don't. We need to get more. Garlic powder, and I'm using all this garlic, guys. Yeah, we love garlic. It's so good for you. What else? Melissa Stanley, big up. What else? A little bit of the lorries. Guys, as you can hear, I am the Kalalu expert around here. <laughs> now we're using a little bit of Larry's seasoned <laughs> salt and we're not gonna over salt this because again, there is salt fish in this. All right, so we just want it for flavor. Right. Octavia KF, thank you so much. She said she just found this channel today. I'm going to share it with my family. God bless you all. Bring for your channel increases. We received that. In the we name of Jesus. Thank you. And if All you right. guys can do the same, just share on your Facebook, wherever, just push your belly everywhere. I sneak this in, guys. She don't know. So. What's that? Yeah, the coconut that? lime. Oh, you can put some of that black pepper medley thingy. The, the, this one? Yes. And we're using, um, it's a, it's a peppercorn medley. It's, um, black mm -hmm. and red peppers. And, you just want to, and fresh peppercorn is so different from the ones that are not fresh guys i must say this what is that thing? You it's for it's for you to change the 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 size of the peppercorn are you serious yeah yeah speedy what you say you're so hungry right now as a jamaican i know the taste oh my god <laughs> <laughs> anything else my dear wifey and it's some butter you want us to use this or use real butter real butter all right, so this was the option for those who want to keep it 100% vegan. I'm going to use this. Um, um, we're going to use the, the vegetable, which is um, coconut spread. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. So we're How keeping this dish. Man, with saltfish, really? Oh, a saltfish. Me forget. So, <laughs> saltfish tonight. Forget it. Forget it. So if you wanted to keep it vegan, you could omit the saltfish, mm -hmm. season it just the same, omit the saltfish, and use you know like a you vegan. Can use tofu. You can fry it up first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or mushroom. Yes. You could have replaced the saltfish with mushroom. Mm -hmm. We need the butter. And so guys, as you can see, once you stir it, it starts to reduce. Now, I must confess, when we were in Jamaica and we did um, saltfish mm. and, and callaloo and all of that, what used to happen is that as the callaloo hit the, the pot, it used to spring water. Nowadays it not spring no water. The vegetable them are ball. Them no spring water again nowadays like one time. And so father Is that God, one springing? It not spring. I know nothing. this this is some organic homemade homegrown callaloo though for sure. Mm -hmm. That our church sister brought for us yesterday. Maybe because we have the pot open um mm -hmm. still. Alright, so now we're just gonna put some You cut some slivers, not chunks. Just slivers of butter. I would have chunked it, and so that's why I may always make sure you put the butter. Cause me not chunk. When you sliver it, you can e evenly distribute it initially, you know, instead of waiting for it to. I may add some water because we need little gravy, you know, the little juice. Yes. Hallelujah. And this is another thing that I do add to my callaloo that many people won't add to theirs, but it does make a difference. We All right. That to most things, guys. Apple cider vinegar is I'm not important. Mad at him. And I use the cap as my measuring guide. So I will use one and two, two capfuls, capfuls of, of vinegar. Alright. And another thing that you may add to your color, however, I may not do it because the wife in a light them something there, is a little toasted sesame oil. It does create a little bit of a difference and you smell it and it, it nutty. Mm -hmm. Almost like burnt garlic. Yes. So, but me now nah add it because she will warm me. If it was me. Start you know. sharing? Yeah, man, sure. Give me the cover for this real quick, baby. So, make it just steam down a little bit more. Oh, my callaloo look, guys. How you feeling? How does my callaloo look? How does my callaloo look? look. How does my callaloo look today? Oh, yes. And so we're just trying to create an, an environment now for the painting to go through. Give me a sec, guys. We're we'll coming. Guys, come don't in. go nowhere. This is the moment of truth. The plating. The plating. You guys have to stick around for the plating. Wow. You're showing them, show them what's going on in, in the pot over there. This is what you're doing over here, guys. Come on. Potato. Me feel like Dumpling. me. Me feel like me want. Two. Must about. Karen says good idea on the mushroom replacement. Yes, Karen. The mo I use mushroom in lieu of saltfish in many different dishes. And I also use fresh fish. Fry the fresh, the fresh fish like um, you know, tilapia or, or snappers fillet. Fry that up dry. And then use it as your saltfish replacement. You have to hold it for replacement because the saltfish is just sodium. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Mm -hmm. How much is that doggy in the window? That's enough food. Or too much if you ask me. But it's fine. <laughs> How do you do this now? How do you do it? All right, this is fine. So now we're waiting to just add our callaloo. Callaloo, 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 callaloo. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So two banana, two dumplings, and a piece of yam. And look what we find, guys. Look what we just find. Look what we find. And it looks like a win, guys. It's a win. <laughs> if you guys know anything about avocado, you would know that buying avocado is like a gamble you never know in what America. you're gonna get yeah you never know what you're gonna get it blocky blocky sometime watery sometime <laughs> master yips in my belly is rumbling right now 
Real Jamaican food, Beverly, right? Sharon, I add vegetable broth to my color loaf. That's a good idea. Sauce. Yeah, if it's, yeah, low sodium vegetable. Well, vegetable broth. Woo, that would be good. Yeah, we that's a to, very good idea. To good, good idea, girl. Thank you. We've never ever bought that. We'll try it for sure. That's the bomb. That looks great. Karen Martin. Good idea. I'm not sure if it's Yep, yep, yep. Afterwards, okay. okay. Alright, so let us revisit our color low. Where is the thing? Here. I'm not ready you know. Pretty much good to go. That is ready. You don't want it to get some people cook the color low till it black. Don't do that, guys. You have to say black. <laughs> it's black. Yeah, you still want your something to be green. Your color look to be green and nice and, you know. All right, so turn the stove off. It's almost getting there. It's done. Boom. All right. Great, great, great. And now great. for a zip plating of the color Great, 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 guys. Great. She's coming here. She's coming with, her, with the color look. Um, this morning, I just want to talk to you guys about... Um, you know the fact that we must all look around for somebody that we can help in life especially if we have been given assistance in any way by any means we must look around and see if we can return thanks it's an important thing in 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 the transition of life as you grow and as you get better remember that you always have to return thanks you never know how life will turn around and how life will treat you if you if you just live selfishly you know and the bible talks about the fact that some people will hate your child because of how you lived and for us who are parents we want people to treat our children good right so it means then we must be good people so that a person say yeah man i sent to up a yard belly son that man carry me let him in give him what he want because a yard belly son and yard belly has been a good person you get what i'm trying to say um and if you have been blessed if you have been given any type of assistance you may not return thanks to the person who gave it to you initially but it would be it would be good to look around now there's a there's a passage of scripture and i'm not i'm not being religious i'm just using it as an example of when david the king of israel became king and he remembered how his friend jonathan which is saul the king before him son oh jonathan was a good guy a good friend and and david said there must be somebody in jonathan's house that i can you know give bless, bless because of how him father deal with me our whole Jonathan deal with me and they said yes there is somebody and it's this guy called Mephibosheth the guy was was lame he was living in a in a in a city that then put him one side came live yeah just put the two of them together and and um and and David sent for him sent for the guy and and gave the guy something nice and you know well put it put it but yeah and and he gave the guy you know um a, a um, inheritance and he gave him money and he allowed him to live and stay in stay in the palace on a long-term basis and the point I'm making is so we have been all helped especially if we're from Caribbean descent we have been all helped it may not be that good race it may have been difficult life may have been hard but somebody has reached out to you in some way or the other and we must we must remember to find a way to return thanks find a way to to send pass it on now what 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 that term pay it forward pay it forward find a way to pay it forward because life is not about isolation and no man is an island one day you're gonna need help and if you don't need the help your picnic are gonna need the help and if your child needs the help and people remember that you in your life was mean and selfish nobody not gonna help your picnic nobody not gonna help your child so that's the word for this morning all right guys it forward time for look on food because we're all about the food some people don't like the preaching but hey that's who i am you have to talk the things then food time guys the food yeah, share time. the food share and looks stupendous Yay. delicious magnificent it looks so mantagamous that's a word mm -hmm. mantagamous mm -hmm. this food looks very intelligent right now i promise you i feel so Oh, divine looking at it my belly is saying here I am send me, <laughs> <laughs> here I am, feed me. look at this man eh? 
This is crazy, Kerry. I'm sorry, but there's no big ship sailing to Atlanta right now. <laughs> you are on your own. <laughs> so, babes, you're not know, at the video, your Instagram thing and thing. She said she not she dropped the ball, you know, guys. She dropped the ball. She there gloat over the food. Mm -hmm. hmm? For she do the thing. Pictures. Do I do I do I uh, and, and do different side pictures mm -hmm. from different angles? The, hey, for me still, you know, it's all about that avocado, you know. It looks so good. A long time, you know, see one good avocado, you know. The little, the little um black Spanish one, them with the with the wrinkled skin, where look like old people. At that all them have on the market. You know, so a long time, you know, see one avocado where we used to Jamaica. You know, you know. I said, do you know? So how we look, guys? Do you like or what the plating looks like? Give us a thumbs up. Let us know what Give you think. Give us a thumbs up if you like it. Give us a thumbs up. Give us a thumbs up. All right. So boom. So do you want to say anything about your meal? I want to say my meal is very stupendous. It's very mantagamous and it's supersonic. Yes, those are my words. I invented them. Delicious. Delicioso. Avocado in the house? Mmm, -mm, baby. Baby. Mmm. Cheers. -es. Not the whole night. Too craven. Mmm. -mm. Patrice has a FedEx are plate. Wait, wait. Mm. The avocado that tastes like dinner. Mm -mm. Nice and creamy. This will be perfect for, for, for guacamole. For reals. Mm -mm. <laughs> for that kid, I told my kind of boy, I'm going to taste it and then tell me before it comes up. <laughs> <laughs> Believe me, it tastes good. Very good. <laughs> yep. Good to go. May I forgot about the buying more of the avocado. I swear. So it's Yardy Belly's day to mukbang the food. I, I'm not taking no for an answer. Are you kidding me right now? Every time I'm the one eating, I because think it's. Because you are more prettier when you eat. Guys, let me let me know. Don't you think it's his time to eat this no, morning? No, sir. You will be eating, my girl. If I get thirty thumbs up, you have to eat. No, sir. The people them know. Right now, we have twenty-five eat. thumbs up. If I say thirty thumbs up, he will be eating. When on ugly camera. people eat, when ugly people eat, the camera broke. The people them don't want to see no ugly man I eat. <laughs> I pay pretty people them want to see I eat. That one to you, my girl. 27. Come on, guys. We can do this. We can get him eating. Wow. Three more. Three more. Wow. These people are... I can't that even understand sounds them right exactly now. That exactly in a kitchen. <laughs> to ecstasy in, in a kitchen. I can't understand you guys right now. You no, guys don't write different. thumbs up. 32. It them even supersede and exceed. Um, the wow, requirement. Guys, so, you are you are acting guys, different. He is coming to eat his breakfast. Coming to eat his breakfast. Y'all acting. Oh, different. me the computer don't have. It's time for me to do tutorial again. Oh, oh, the computer has the thumbs up, man. Yeah, man, everything up. Though. You just have to use your mouse and hover over that little thumbs up button. There's a thumbs up and a thumb thumbs down button. The thumbs down button is for losers. <laughs> but <laughs> the thumbs up button is the one that you just use your mouse and click on and you're you're in business. Where you see the thumbs down button of a who? Losers. <laughs> losers. <Zahers. laughs> right? So Alvin, we need you to Click on the thumbs up button, but yeah, you got it. 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 Somebody retract them thumbs up. Buy them to that. We said 32 before. No, oh, it gone back up to 30. <laughs> Somebody still retracted. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. Let me go in on my food because we can't touch fair food. All right, so. Hold on. <laughs> Come up. <laughs> yeah. Me had a belly shirt. Me had a belly shirt. Me had a belly shirt. <laughs> All right, so hold on. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Moderate, nice, not too salty. Mm -hmm. You did a good job with the sawfish, see? It's not too salty at all. 
-hmm. And guys, our place is small. If you look around, you see how close everything is. And so, yeah, we're at that stage of life where we want to move, but we have not yet, you know. We have not been released yet. You know, our, our, all the funds that we have in our heavily bank is not yet given to us. <laughs> so eventually you'll be a part of the transition and all of that, you know, when the Lord says go. Mm -hmm. Until then, please don't look around in our kitchen. Just focus on the food. The food. <laughs> all right, don't pronounce that on Kalalo. That meal could go great with fresh green tea. Mm. Alvin Robinson said that. Alvin. Beer or some lemonade. Mm. Oh, 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 oh. Back can home explain. it's pear. Yeah, back home we call it pear. Mm -hmm. Me can I explain how good this is, guys. How good and fresh this is. Crunchy. It's, it's not salty. You know? Mm. The pear. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> The dumpling and the pear. The dumpling and the pear. Mm -mm. <laughs> Karen, we received that. She said it's coming. Coming. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is yellow yam. It's not really that yellow though. Is but it dry or is it chewy? No, it wet. You see it wet? <laughs> <laughs> you are very mm -mm. funny. I'm gonna put you live. You don't want PC? When you eat your kalaloo and food, here you go, baby. You are happy. You are alive. Here you go. No, you are alive. Come, take eat it. it. <laughs> you're gonna pull out the fuck out of my hand? No, she has one body now. <laughs> The fuck almost the middle of the city park I got in a black hole. <laughs> oh god help me. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. We have the food sweat. Mm -hmm. This is when the craving is start. You start sweat. And after that, I straight go sleep. Anybody ever call me today, but no work. I pay your customer cost. You mm -hmm. can't eat them food here and, and, and then go do the whole power. You have, to, you have to take your time. Mmm, the avocado. Guys, thank you so much for watching us this morning. We appreciate each and every one of you and we thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, and if those of you who wanted to support us by doing a shop, you know, clicking on the shop now button. There's a whole lot of designs there, Jamaican design, Jamaican inspired designs, and just take a look at it. I'm sure you will see something that you like. We have leggings, we have t-shirts, we have tank tops, we have um, sweaters and hoodies. Just take a look, all right? That's, that's, the, that's the best thing I can, I can tell you. Um, until we do this again, and I, we, we are going to come with some crazy stuff, guys. Now, I need to say this, because we have had so many comments in recent times. A lot of people don't understand our channel, and our channel is Jamaican food, but we do get out of the box sometimes. And we do stuff that is a little bit different. We don't do it um, conventional or traditional. And so we do invite you to keep your comments nice and clean and objective or objectful. And guys... Thank you once again for the support. Yada Belly in our foreign, Yada Belly TV. Uh, this is, I mean, this is crazy. My tagline is Tonya Hanna Make Fashion. And I also have another tagline, which is based on everything that I am, which is live and laugh, cook, cook and eat. Both of them are on t-shirts. Go check it out. And thank you so much. Give them another look at the food. And then we're off to the races because I work where I work. Carrie, I'm a chicken ranger. torture in the viewers. We want food too. Prior mm. kid never lock off this video. Mm -mm. This no right. <laughs> Prior kid. Nicole says I make your pineapple juice with ginger. Love it. Thank you, Nicole. Alvin said, did you use your hot peppers this time? Mm -hmm. Yes, we did. Mm -hmm. Octavia says, all right, now y'all go ahead and enjoy your meal together. Mm -hmm. All right, one more look at the the meal, the zip plate, the main event. Mm -mm. There you have it, guys. Mm -mm. Straight out of your belly kitchen. Callie. You want this yam, babes? Come chase the yam. 
That means you owe me a quarter dumpling and piece of yam out of your food. Mm -hmm. It's good, right? Mm -hmm. It's so good. Mm -mm. If Simone was watching me, that invite her for so much, she now watch. So she get left. <laughs> nice. I will be digging in. Breadfruit <laughs> want to know how you cook it. Oh. Okay. We will do a breadfruit video. We'll try. If we find a nice breadfruit in the supermarkets, we can do breadfruit next week. Yeah, because we have breadfruit in, in um Presidente supermarket in Florida. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Some breadfruit with something nice. What do you want the breadfruit with? I'm taking your request, girl. Who asked about the breadfruit? Breadfruit and chicken back. Ja <laughs> Juanita or Janita. What do you want it's us to Juanita. cook? No, there's no you. It's J A N I T A. Oh, Janita. Janita, what do you want us to make the breadfruit with? So let us know. And we got you, girl. We got you. Look look at them professional restaurant plate. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's how we roll. We try to make it presentable. Alright, so <laughs> Alicia said they need to open their own restaurant. So we are going to take the time out now to well I'm going to dig in into my food right now. So until next time guys. See you when we see you. Deuces. What? what? Breadfruit, peas, and rice, and oxtail. <laughs> what? We just made oxtails. <laughs> There's an oxtail video up, Janita. It has to be a breakfast. It has to be a breakfast item. Breadfruit is usually served with, with um, yeah, in the, all right, we're going right to one minute. We have, we have one minute left, guys, that we can be on. One minute left, because we do it about an hour. Um, you said my name. Correct. Janita, no, you. Um, I said it correctly when I said one eater, right? A joke. I don't know which one is correct. Why if you are me? No, you isn't it? So it's not one eater. But guys, thank you once again for staying with us and hanging out with us. Our meal today was uh, callaloo and a little bit of saltfish with some ground provision and a very beautiful um, waiting in the Sichuan steam fish and okra. Um, Albert, Alvin Robinson, I speak it into um, existence. I have to look back at what Alvin had said. Yeah, they will have a restaurant one day, no doubt about it. Thank you so much, Alvin. Yes, as the Lord leads, we will reciprocate. Yes, as I go. We are using the big word now. <laughs> once again, guys, thank you so much. No one eater. <laughs> oh, it's, uh, beautiful the food just look good and she they are salivate her mouth around water and she can't wait for me done and me not done until next time guys look out for more live and look out for more recorded videos from our taste bud series and remember live and laugh cook and eat have yourself a beautiful day hallelujah <laughs>